What good should we do today fellas, Onions here, and today I want to talk about the Grog Nozzle and tell you why you should keep the gun and not submit in the quest that it comes with. But before we do that, I want to talk about what it does. So as you can see, it has a very low damage for a level 61 gun. I believe this is the lowest damage you can actually get on the gun in Borderlands 2 at level 61. And also, if you look at the chance of slag, it is extremely high. Right now it's 46.8, but there are other grog nozzles that have a chance to slag an enemy at 50% and higher. But this one for some reason has 46.8%. It has a very interesting hidden stat, is and uh, it basically gets you drunk, and when you shoot it, it can shoot multiple projectiles. Also, that effect is sort of like the evil smasher, boy the nostalgia that I just got. The evil smasher, it has... It can transfer the special effect onto another gun, for example the Norfleet, and it will shoot like 10 projectiles at a time while you have the drunken effect active. Although it doesn't last too long, it can allow you to shoot a couple of projectiles out of your guns if you quickly switch it to them. Also, the interesting thing about this gun is that it heals you for 65% of the damage you deal to an enemy. So if you deal 100,000 damage to an enemy, you will get 65,000 points of health going back to you just from that one, one damage. And since we're in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, most of the guns will deal around that, that number of damage, so 100,000 and higher. So you'll pretty much be going up in health non-stop. And if you dual wield it with an Infinity, you will pretty much become an invincible, undying god of Borderlands 2. So that's pretty much all there is to this gun. Also here's the special effect, you can see it shoots multiple projectiles and then it just automatically turns off at random times. So to get this gun you will need to go to Claptrap and get a mission called The Beard Makes The Man. And once you finish the mission, you will submit it to Claptrap and that's when you lose the gun instantly. And after that, you simply can't get the gun back. But, if you don't want to submit the mission, you shouldn't. And there is absolutely no reason to submit the mission. Because, once you finish it, Claptrap will give you two other useless missions that will only reward you with XP points. Which kind of disappointed me. I thought you would get something good after being able to use a weapon like this. But, nope. You only get XP points from finishing the other two Miss missions that he will give you so this is another reason to simply not submit the quest and keep the gun to yourself and uh, Also, you can mod this game into your game like I did right here. This is the modded game uh, the modded gun I also have the mission weapon right here, but I don't really use it But you can mod the grog nozzle into your save file and actually use it from day to day and log out log back in and It will say in your inventory and also if you do have it make sure to dupe it for other people because Everybody wants this gun, everybody wants to finish the mission, but they don't feel like finishing the mission because you get the epic gun. So if you do have a gun that you can drop, make sure to dupe it for other people. I will also put a save file in the description with different grog nozzles, so you can keep whatever for yourself and give the rest to other people if you wish. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, until next time, stay awesome guys.